Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, my head shape looks wild in this beanie. But like, I've been beefing with my hair for like the past week. Like, honestly, I'm ready to go bald at this point. So ignore my appearance. This is only for this video. Um, Today, we're going to be watching another episode of The Grassy High. And we're going to be watching episodes... 11 and 12, we are itching closer to the end of the season. Episode 11 is called All in a Good Cause and episode 12 is called Natural Attraction. I have been very impressed with season one of The Grassy High. Every episode has left me floored. Definitely my favorite season of all of them so far, including like the first three seasons of The Grassy Junior High. Like I have been tuned into this shit, like I am obsessed. So I'm ready to get into it. But before we do, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. You already know, subscribing is free as hell thank you guys so much for my last video my last degrassi tng video was one of my best performing videos in a very long time and i've gotten a lot of subscribers off of that so thank you guys so much for you know tuning in subscribing i'm so close to 4,000 subscribers i'm less than 100 away so if you aren't subscribed go ahead and do that it will mean a lot to me and we're gonna go ahead and get started i go by this factory all the time and now they're going to be making electrical systems for nuclear missiles we've got to do something Oh my god, I feel like I haven't seen these two in a long time. I didn't know that Claude was so, like, you know, fight the power like Caitlyn is, but I mean, that's a perfect match because she loves protesting. She loves, you know, standing up for what's right. So, two peas in a pod, I guess. Like last year, it was save the whales. Next year will be pigeons are people too. What I'm concerned about is who's going to do this. I've done everything so far. I'm really busy, but I'll try tonight. You better do more than try. It's due next week. Ooh. She means business. I like her. Who is that? She means business. She is tall and she means business. She is standing on it. <laughs> I know a lot of people are sick of hearing standing on business, but I love that phrase. So I'm going to say it. She was standing on business. It seems like Claude is like way more focused on, you know, activism than school. So maybe that's what she's getting at. As you know, we challenge 9B to see who could raise the most money. The losers have to be the winner's slaves for a day. Aww. There's no way I can be anybody's slave. Me neither. Slaves for a day? I mean, that's kind of intense. Like, slave is kind of an intense word. Can we just say, like, servants? Or, like, they have to just do what we say for a day? Like, saying slaves is kind of intense. Why does he keep appearing? Like, why is he always here? Like, can he just go away? I miss you. Don't you miss me? No. Look, I'm sorry. It'll never happen again. I swear. Leave me alone. And I love how every time he appears to try to talk to her, Melanie and... Damn, what's that girl's name? The one that was smoking. Diana. There we go. Diana. I almost said Dina. Diana. Every time Sean or Steve, whatever the fuck his name... There's so many people. I can't keep up with names. Every time he comes around, they're like around the corner to like, you know, check him. Like, no, you're not going to talk to fucking Kathleen because you are a loser. I'm going to rap, I don't yell. The names of these sweet, I got a story to tell about UNICEF kids who don't live like we do. They're not as lucky as me and you. So the Grassy has always had their rapping, beatboxing, black cast members because this is giving Sea Dog in the house. <laughs> sea Dog in the house. We were supposed to go canvassing with Melanie and them, but you couldn't because Claude wanted you to help him make the flyers. And on and on. You're shoving aside your friends for the sake of your boyfriend. We don't like that. That's the worst type of person. It's not that hard to balance your friends and your, like, lover. <laughs> or your significant other. That's a better word for high schoolers. Everyone knows that person who, like, soon as they get in a relationship, it's fuck their friends. Like, you never see them until, like, eight months later when they break up and they want to be by your side when they cry about it. Like... We ain't got time for that. You just don't know how to have fun. What do you mean? I always have fun. And I do too, take chances. Oh, like what? You got to flush your teeth once? <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. Yick and Arthur. I knew this was going to happen. Like I said it at the beginning of the season that they were going to like grow distant. And I feel like some people in the comments said the same thing. But like, I don't like that this Luke guy is making fun of Arthur and Yick is like laughing beside him. Like that just seems unnatural. Like, I don't like it. And why can't we do something more than just demonstrate? Something to make them really take notice. Like throw bricks through their windows. Ooh. You don't take the law into your own hands. So he's one of those protesters who's like, violence is the answer. We must break their things. We must punch them in their faces. 
I mean, sometimes violence is the answer, but like he's doing a little too much right now. I just played this game called Detroit Become Human. Like I know a lot of people have played it. It's a very old game. I remember watching videos on it on YouTube like years ago, but I played it myself for the first time. And you know, there's a protest in the game. And like, if you keep doing all the violent, you know, outcomes, if you choose all the violent choices, then your protest is probably not going to work. I did like 90% peaceful, 5% violent. Like there was one part where I had to shoot these two cops who killed like people on our side. And I did that, <laughs> but everything else I did peaceful. I'll go. You? Sure, it was my idea, right? Okay. All right, Arthur, way to go. I kind of miss what they're gonna do. I was not paying attention. <laughs> they're gonna do something to Mr. Radich's tree. I wasn't paying attention. A nuclear missile's nice? No. It would be like vandalism. Big deal. Nuclear missiles are murder. He's like Liz. He's giving Liz. I said a lot at the beginning of the season that I liked Claude. Some people, I did see some comments that were like, just wait a while <laughs> and you may change your mind. Um, he's a little intense. Wait a minute. How do we know if Arthur really did it? Yeah. There has to be a- Oh my God, is that Arthur's cousin? <gasps> I didn't know she was gonna make a reappearance. I stan her. She was in that one episode in like the Grass of Junior High, that Christmas episode where Yik and Arthur was beefing. I stan. I have a camera. Great, you can go with Arthur. Wait, I want Yik to come with me. Sure, unless you're chicken. <laughs> no, I'm not chicken. I'll go. I don't like that they are like not together. Like, I don't like that they have like this underlying tension. I don't like that. I keep saying that, but I don't. I don't like it. I won't stand for it. What if you get caught? I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to take a stand. Everybody. Come take my hand. I really can't sing, y'all. Like, I be playing like I can't sing, but I really can. I just, it's just so embarrassing. Kathleen, I got you a present. Girl, go away. He's like a fucking pest. I'm getting really sick and tired of the way you're acting, okay? I don't want anything from you. And he is still. I did this for you. Let me go. Why this is this happening? Get, huh? You're hurting me. What? So we're going back. I thought this episode was going to be about TPing Radish's freaking house, his tree in the house, and Caitlyn and Claude protest. I didn't know he was going to get abuse. I thought we were done with that. Like, usually we have that storyline. She's like, no, I'm not standing for it any longer. And then we, it's, the, it's over. I guess this is a little bit more realistic, I guess. Like, it doesn't always, like, cut off like you know cold turkey but still like i'm so i just was not ready for that like why is he not in prison what's going on over there Got right there both of you i'm stuck claude help me stop right there is he gonna leave her i'm stuck claude claude wait claude. <gasps> He left her? <gasps> that is so messed up. No, Claude. He really left her hanging, literally. <laughs> Kick him in the nuts and run. Do it. That is so wild. I can't believe he did that. She gave me four pages. <gasps> her arm is broken? Why did you call the police? I was at the station all night. How could you do this to me? How could you do this to me? Please drop the charges. No, fuck you. Oh. If you do, I'll call the police and I'll have you charged again. Again and again and again. Oh my God, he is literally the worst. He beats Rick times one million. Like he abused her multiple times. Hurt her multiple times. She has her arm in a sling. I was stuck. You could have helped me. 
said you weren't afraid to get caught. Literally, I was thinking the same thing. I was going to wait till the scene was over to say it. But like, you talk that big shit about being unafraid, blah, blah, blah. And then soon as the, you know, soon as the shit start hitting the fan, you want to run. Fuck him. Damn, he really ruined my perception of him in just one episode. Damn, Claude. Oh my god, this fucking plastic baby. I like how we're like going back to storylines. Like we're not forgetting that this happened because I feel like even with like Manny's abortion storyline, like it happened and it was probably brought up like once or twice, maybe like two or three episodes later and then we completely forgot about it. Um, I still can't tell the twins apart, but the one who had the abortion, that was like the very first episode of the season and we are on episode 12 and they are going back to it. And you know, she's still dealing with the aftermath of it. Like just being traumatized. I mean, that makes sense. I'd rather watch a show on turtles than go to the dance. Marine reptiles are surprisingly fascinating. Come on, Dorothy, let's go. See you later. Bye. Wait, is that the girl that was chasing him around at the end of the Grassy Junior High? Like when the, like before the school caught on fire, they were like running around. Is that the same girl or am I tripping? Cause Scooter's like, oh, has she changed? She does look different, but like, I don't know if that's the same girl or not. If that is like girl, I don't know. There's your 10. I don't like Snake anymore. Uh-huh. Sure. No, seriously. He's not interested. All these new people keep popping up. Are these the girls from the last episode where they were doing a video for LD and they were like, oh, we're the most popular girls in the school. We wear all designer clothes. Are these the same girls? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of new people in this episode. Do you, want, do you want to go to the dance with me? Sure. Well, great. <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll see you later. Was her friend gonna be feeling some type of way about that because her friend used to like him? Wow, he's gorgeous and he has a car too. He's tall, he's dark, and handsome. <laughs> I always was confused about the phrase tall, dark, and handsome because what is the dark part of dark and handsome? Is it dark hair? Because it never was dark skin. <laughs> Cause anytime they say tall, dark, and handsome is like the whitest man. So is it like dark hair? And if so, I'm an idiot for just now, like realizing that's what the dark meant. Oh, Snake asked me to the dance. Snake? Yeah, isn't it great? Now our record remains perfect. Snake asked you to the dance? Yeah. Thanks a lot. How could you do this to me? You know I like him. You said you didn't anymore. Oh, great. And you believe me? Amy, I thought you were my best friend. I told you, I knew this was gonna happen. But like, what the fuck did they come from? Like these random ass girls. Allison and Tracy was her name? I don't fucking know. What she really wants to ask is, do you wanna go to the dance with her? Dorothy? Do you? Uh, yeah, sure. Really? Aww. Yeah. Oh my God, I love Scooter. He has a little like date. Ah! Oh! I've only just met this Blaine. Heather, I can live my own life, okay? I don't need a lecture. Fine. I mean, I can understand Heather, like, you know, concern for Erica and looking out for her, but like, girl, she's trying to move on. Like, let her move on. She's being haunted by this plastic doll. But I can't tell if it's, I, st I really need to get these twins names down. Cause Heather is the one who's having the nightmares, but she's not the one who had the abortion. She was just like there. It's been like four seasons and like what, three years of me doing this and I still can't tell. It's been nine months since. The baby would have been born about now. Don't you ever wish you hadn't? So she is her. Okay, so Heather's the one who's having the nightmares, even though she wasn't the one who had the abortion. Remember what I told you? One, two, three. One, two, three. I remember. Good. Let's go. One, one two, three. Two, one, two, three. See, that's not so bad. Count with me. This is not slow dancing. Why are they going so fast? Why are we going so fast? They on X Games mode. I said I could borrow for as long as I wanted. That was before, when we were friends. Fine. 
Then you can give me back my scarf. No problem. Am I supposed to care about these girls? Because I really don't. They're both kind of annoying. <laughs> this is how it began with Jason. You're going to do it again, aren't you? Just like the summer. Heather, what are you talking about? You don't care what happens. You don't care what you did. Everything is you, you, you. It kind of is her, her, her. Um... Maybe someone can explain where her, you know, trauma comes from. Because I'm not seeing it. I mean, yes, she did attend the, you know, appointment with her. She was outside while those people were hounding her or whatever. But you're not the one who actually had this operation done to you and had your baby, you know, taken out, whatever. If you was going to be like this, you shouldn't have even came in the first place. Like, you should have just been like, nah, sis, like, I'm not with it. Instead of, like, fake, like, you was on my side just for, like, you know, nine months later to be like, you know, I didn't like what you did and you're going to do it again. I helped to kill a person. Heather, it wasn't a person. It was to me. Maybe you should talk to my counselor. No. Yes, you need to talk to somebody because, girl, you are going through it. <laughs> I'm so confused. Yes, yeah, sis, you need to talk to somebody because I'm confused just like you. Whoa, that was a lot. That was a lot. All right, y'all, that is it for today's video. Another wild two episodes of this crazy ass show. Like, it's kind of crazy that it took this long for me to watch. <laughs> Because it's insane. Like, I feel like everyone should watch this. This should be, like, required watching for anyone. Because this is how TV should be. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. All that great stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.